Right, good morning. I figured um, today would be a good day to do a little overview of my 2015 XT250. Um, some of the mods and upgrades I did to it. Um, it's, as I said, it's a 2015. I've had it for about two and a half years. Uh, I got it had a thousand miles. It's got almost 4,000 now. 99% um, of that is trails and off-road. Uh, it came originally blue, obviously. I painted it with um, tan and black truck bed liner. I just didn't like the blue. It was getting scuffed up because I go through the woods and you know it, how it is. You fall down a lot. You end up scuffing it up. And the paint gets scuffed up, but it's easy to clean and just spray over it again if you like. So some of the upgrades I got, um, we'll go, I guess, the bike came with this FMF pipe. Um, I don't know that I would buy it if um, it didn't come with it. It was melting the fender here, so that's why I have that um, heat shield there. It makes the bike a little louder. I don't know that it adds anything to the performance. I probably wouldn't do it if um, I had bought the bike new. But it, it did come like that. It also came with the MSR. Barkbuster hand guards. I added the um, windscreens, the hand protectors. These are just generic from eBay, not eBay, but um, Amazon. And I recently put the Mad Dog fold out mirrors on it. I removed the stock mirrors. They were getting busted up in the trails. These are working well. They've only been on a couple weeks, but they fold out of the way. They're more of a um, blind spot mirror, but it works. And I've got the full cogent dynamics suspension, which is a DDD, DDC kit in the bottom, um, heavier springs and oil, and in the rear I got the Modoc shock. It's the, you can see the yellow shock in there. Um, really transformed the bike as far as suspension and what it could do on and off road. On road, you know, it's the XT250. It tops out about 60, 65 miles an hour. But it's comfortable. Um, off road with the new suspension, it's great. I'm running the Kenda Trackmaster 2s. I've uh, been through a couple of different sets of tires, but um, these are great so far. They, they hook up. Um, some of the other mods, I've got a, I think it's a DID, HID headlight kit in there. And a Nylite's 20 watt spotlight there. It, I ride the trails at night sometimes, and that really is like the eye of God. You can see everything. Um, I've got a louder horn. That's a mini sound bomb that allows people, you know, they can hear me now. Can't say you didn't hear me. You got the skid plate. And I can't remember what skid plate that is. And I put the foam inside of it to stop some of the noise. Um, larger foot pegs. These are just eBay specials. Um, they didn't fit perfectly. I had to do a little grinding on them. They were a little too wide here. You can see where it's silver. I had to file it down a bit. But once I got on a fit, they worked well. Um, obviously, I carry the Tusk Fender Pack. It's got a heavy duty tube in there. I need to go to a lightweight front tube because it kind of blocks the headlight, but not too bad. I think a smaller tube would probably be best. Um, got this little tank saddlebag that's for a ATV. It goes right over the tank. It straps down with some elastics. I keep a um, water bladder in here, one and a half quart water bladder. My hose it goes to the tank bag with Velcro so I don't have it flopping around. Um, just an Amazon bag here with tire pump some survival kit stuff and first aid kit toilet paper all the good things I have a tool tube down there with my folding saw tire levers um, chain lube things like that uh, tank bag this is a Sidichi tank bag from cycle gear it carries my wallet all my stuff I have the Garmin in reach and I also have a Garmin GPS um, I bought them at separate times if I had it to do over again and I knew about it, I would have got the inReach with the maps and GPS all in one and have one unit. But I bought them at separate times and it is what it is. Um, yeah, the bike's great. Runs good. Um, I got heated grips on it. I did put on the um, just some cheap heated grips. I got the switch for it right here. I got a 12 volt auxiliary um, outlet right here, which I charged the GPS and my in reach and my phone, whatever I want. Um, yeah, get, you know, got a rack on the back. And let's see what else. This right here, oh, I did a fender eliminator, um, tail tidy. So I got rid of that really big tail light there. 
this is a little box you get these on um twisted throttle or some other places you unlock it i keep all my registration all my paperwork in here that we always have in this waterproof got the seat concept seat and that made a big difference um you know that's about it for the bike it's runs really good i i like the color of it it blends in a lot more when i'm out stealth camping or whatever um i recently you know i used to carry a a bigger knife has stuff in this bag but this works good for clearing brush when i'm in trails i get in some tight spots and that's a kershaw camp 10 but um chopping brush out of the way and vines and you get all hung up in your tires and stuff but yep this is the 2015 xt250 and that's about all i can think of it right now as far as um mods and everything else and headlight guard obviously i mean you can see what's on here but you know, with the new suspension, I still remain with that 31.9 inch seat height. Um, I can reach the ground well, and now it's got good suspension. It jumps, it'll do anything I need it to do. So, all right, going to get back on the trail, ride around a little bit more. And that's the XT250. All right, have a good day, guys.